happy, happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing super well today. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it is. If you care about St. Patrick's Day, let us know. Let us know if you're going to be celebrating. Let us know if you have big St. Patrick's Day party plans. <laughs> let us know what you've got going on. Uh, today, we're busting out some clay. I'm really excited. I haven't been able to use clay. I mean, I've, I've been able to as much as I want to. I just haven't. I haven't used clay in a very long time. So we're using clay today. I'm very, very excited. Um, we're making this super cute little planter. Look at here. Like, look at here. So if you're brand new here to the channel, which by the way, uh, we have had a an influx of incredible new followers the past week or so. So welcome to all of you. If you happen to be joining, if you are new here, I would like to give you a warm, warm welcome hug through the screen and let you guys know that you are in an amazing crafty place. My name is Rachel Langston and the voice that you will hear soon is Miss Becca Oaks. She is being my producer today and we are both owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb. And we like to educate on all things crafty. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a, a regular Cricut on the table today. We have a sublimation oven on the table today because we broke that out to use with our clay. Uh, we're all about learning new things, mastering new things to be able to teach you how to do them. Um, we want you guys to be confident, well-rounded crafters, and we hope that you turn to Oak and Lamb and give us the opportunity to do that for you. Um, They're loving your hair, Rachel. Thank you. The biggest thank compliment you. I've ever heard in my life. You look like Pink, who is drop she's dead a, gorgeous. She's a bombshell. Bad a double yeah. S. Yes. She so, is. Yeah. If I look like Pink, even two percent, I feel like I could. I'm done. Rule the world. I quit. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go be a Pink impersonator. Yes. Um, anyway, her hair does you. look amazing. It yes. does. Yes. Thank you so much to Anna for uh, my trim and my dye. It grows out fast, but I um, I was, I'm a blonde. I'm, you I was were ready. To be blonde. You were ready. I was ready to be blonde, yes. Um, I know, Megan, listen, we have grown a lot. Almost 3,000 subscribers. In, in like less than 10 days. Yeah. It's been insane. Uh, we are so thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you for all who have subscribed almost two years ago, and thank you for the subscribers that we just got, we're so thankful. Now, ask any and all questions that you have. Uh, we're still in March, we're about mid-March, and we are about halfway through National Craft Month, and with that, we have a great sale going on on our membership. It is $40 off, so if you would like to take advantage of that ama amazing sale for our annual membership, you can use the code CRAFTY, C-R-A-F-T-Y, at checkout to grab that. Um, yeah, now, we, there, there is a machine on the table, and it's their little cricket joy right here, and he's here for a reason. We, we have a little surprise, something that me and Beck have been working on uh, for a little while. We have a brand new, completely free to all of our members, cricket joy course, which is amazing. Uh, we already have a regular cricket course free to all of our members at Oak and Lamb, but we didn't want to leave out our Cricut Joy owners, the people who snagged this little machine uh, and who want to learn how to use it and master it. So we created that amazing course, over a dozen videos, really amazing. We have a printable workbook for that course as well. Uh, now this is like a hush, hush, you can get the membership and go get it. We're doing a really great, super fun live all about it on Saturday. We're gonna be doing some craft and some answering questions, uh, showing you guys the in and outs of the course and all of that good stuff. We um, can give them a sneaky today. We can, but we can give you a sneaky today. Give you a today. sneaky sneak. But if you want like all the deets, come here Saturday at noon Eastern time and you'll see me and Becca, maybe Anna, I don't know who's gonna be here, but we're just gonna be answering questions, Chilling, talk to you about our course. We're super excited about it. Um, yeah, okay, okay. So, it's clay time. Becca's the one who sent me this picture weeks yeah. ago, a couple weeks yeah. ago, and it was the, I think it was like small. It was tiny. It almost looked like a, one of those stemless wine glasses, maybe a little bit taller than that. And I actually have a picture of it, I'll show you. Okay, good. And it had like clay balls on it, like five in a row around, kind of in a pattern like this. And it was 
37 dollars it's six inches tall yes six inches okay so it's like this tall for 37 dollars and becca said i know you love clay we haven't dove into clay in a while why don't you do this and i'm like done sign me up so cute so we couldn't find that type of pot i'm sure if we were digging but of course it's not that time of year yet where people are planting a lot of stuff so there's not a, it's a little slim pickings but we picked this up at lowe's the other day and we're just using some really really dark blue <laughs> clay here now this is polymer clay and polymer clay unlike air dry clay will need to be baked or quote unquote fired uh in order for it to um have any kind of durability at all uh now i like polymer clay better than air dry clay because air dry clay gr dries out way too quick i know you can moisten it moisten your hands you know as you're working with it but i much prefer to work with polymer clay so i'm not rushed at all and then i can just pop in the oven when i'm ready the one drawback to polymer clay is your shape that you send into the oven can come back depending um a little bit different than when you put it in there so it could dry and shrink a little bit as it's baking it could crack a little bit depending on how thick or thin um you have made your creation there's a lot of factors but again i think the pros greatly outweigh the cons of using polymer clay um rather than air dry clay so that is what i love so surely i love a good dupe too and I was really, I love to do dupes. I don't know if you know this. Do dupes. I love to do dupes. It's super, which back when I was doing them, that wasn't a word. Um, but especially all like Pinterest, like Pinterest home decor, copycat and things like that. I love to look at photos and break it down with my crafty knowledge and be able to recreate it. I love that. It is, it gives me a rush. Um, but yeah, ask any and all questions. That you have we got these at lowe's um we're using this polymer clay we have a spray paint here that really closely matches the terracotta pot color however um, if i were to do this again i would get one of those like stone spray paints or the textured spray paints the ones that spray like little flecks of material i don't know what it is onto your project and kind of give it a a textured rough look it feels like a bed liner like that type of spray yeah um that would really make this i think like chef's kiss finishing touch mm -hmm. now there is this paint hack it's paint and is it baking soda cornstarch baking soda corn someone correct me you can mix it together like I, but you'd have to hand paint it which i wouldn't like but people take oh, like, like a bases, chalk paint yeah type. people yeah. Mm -hmm. take like yeah. bases from a uh, Goodwill or you know, a thrift store and then paint that on there and they look, you know, chalky and matte and beautiful. So you could go that route if you want to as well. Uh, but we just have this here today. We have our Lynn Lily because that's how we're going to be adhering our um, little clay balls on here. Here is like the, the thought process for me. I thought about doing several things and landed on, because you can technically bake this terracotta, it's not going to do anything in the oven um but the clay is not going to stick to the terracotta and i can't put it in in the in the oven and fire it up and hope that it just sticks there's nothing to there's nothing to mend those together like if it was wet clay that you had just you know made a pot from so christina I, asked a good question oven yep. baked clay should not be put in the same oven as your food correct this is Oven baked clay is not nearly as bad as like sublimation or something like that. It's not going to give off the same horrible fumes. Um, to be honest, I, I don't. I didn't really have a lot of options growing up to put clay in different ovens and things like that. So I did it, and it was technically fine. Um, I haven't read any like toxicity reviews or anything like that. That there was some big bad mess up there i do know that like the sublimation fumes and things like that can be super super strong this is a great question though i'm i'm gonna answer with your best bet is always to keep food items and non-food items separate if you can if you can't i haven't dropped dead yet um but i i'm i'm also not a scientist so i can't answer this 100 percent. i can just let you know what i've done but thank you for the question um bell b hey rach do blondes have more fun every day they have more fun becca wouldn't know because she is a redhead but she has been blonde a lot 
Uh, Becca's been about every color. Becca, which hair color has the most fun? You've been them all. Purple. Purple has the most fun. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Mm -hmm. Bell B, I might have more fun, but purple has the most fun, I guess. Wishing everyone a beautiful Thursday. Don't forget to hit the like button. Kate, thanks so much. Um, it's always free for you guys to like, subscribe. We would love for you to do that for us. It helps a lot. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me see. What else am I missing here? Okay. So this is a PYD Life sublimation oven. We love it. We love adore it. it. Yes. We try and find reasons to use it, just like this live today. If we, I, I'm confident that if we didn't have this adorable oven, we wouldn't have been as um, swayed to do this project. We, yeah, we'll do air. Yeah, I would agree we'll, with that. We'll do baked clay later or something, because we don't have an oven here. We have a little kitchenette with a microwave. That's it, and a little mini fridge. This thing has been amazing. Plus, it's dropped in gorgeous. So this is linked down below. I've linked you some pots and some of that uh, stone spray paint below, as, as well as our Lynn Lily, because we're obsessed with it. But I went on the side of pre-rolling my little balls of clay and baking those separate, and then gluing my baked, fired clay balls onto my terracotta pot with my Lynn Lily. Now, I'm just letting you know, if I was to do this, no time limit, just all the time in the world, I would use E6000. That would be a really good hold. You wouldn't have to use a lot of adhesive at all. Um, but for this, I'm gonna be using hot glue, especially since we're, we're live. So yeah, uh, we got a measuring tape. We have like a really sharp knife. I use this for, um, for clay. That's what I cut my brick with. Usually they come in sections. This is just Sculpey brand, get whatever. Um, I'll, link you down, I'll link you one down below, but just go to your local craft store and grab some. It's, it's pretty cheap. You can sometimes find it on sale as well. Uh, this, we already had it. I would not choose this, to be honest, this horrible color of clay. <laughs> I would choose a color that mostly mimicked this color or a white, something, you know, neutral. Uh, but this covered with one coat of spray paint really well. I was pretty impressed with it. Okay. That's pretty much all you'll need. We're gonna be doing this little bitty pot today uh, and not this big pot. This big pot took some time. So I'm gonna be doing this little pot today. Uh, we're gonna be going over some clay. We're gonna be molding it for you so you can see how that process goes. Um, I have already pre-rolled and fired a bunch of them that we'll need today just because it takes about 15 minutes in here. Um, it's got a preheat and all that good stuff, but I can pop some in there and show you how this great sublimation oven works. Uh, just continue to ask your questions. Let us know what we can do to help you. I will be looking over here as well. Okay, I'm gonna get some gloves because in, this is only this color, so I would actually recommend you not use gloves if you can get any other color but this one. But I've used this color before and it will stain my hands because again, it's such an odd color. So I'm gonna use gloves and we can section out this brick. Now, uh, it, it depends on what size your pot is with what, um, what size of little balls you need to make. What I would recommend doing is roll some balls out of different sizes and hold them up to your pot. That way you can see, okay, do I like this, do I not? You can count out, do I want uh, three balls per line on my pot? Do I want five, do I want seven? I mean, whatever you wanna do. Um, I wouldn't make them super small. I would rather go a little bit too big than a little bit too small. I don't know why. I think just because the inspo pick that Becca showed me, they were a little bulbous. Is that a good word to use? They were a little bulbous on there. Mm -hmm. They were a little, like they were poking out quite, quite a bit. So like, this is a pretty good depiction of what the inspiration pick looked like. Not the shape of the terracotta pot, but like the size ratio between the ball and the pot. Um, so I would roll out several different sizes of little balls with your clay, a little section, take out a little section, don't whack up the whole thing, because in order to get these perfectly even, you can actually cut the brick in even sections to make sure that every little square you roll into a ball is gonna be even. So test it out, see around about what size you want, and then you can cut your, um, your clay brick. Is this all making sense? I hope so. Linda, she likes where I put my rings. Yes, if I'm drinking anything up here, I always put my rings on my straw. Um, otherwise, I will leave them somewhere. 
but I'm not going to forget them if I'm sipping on my Dunkin' and I see them right there. So that, there you go. There's a little, a little hack. Also, I would get a big, a large safety pin, one of those bigger ones, and pin it to my shirt, like Grey's Anatomy style. My rings, if I was doing a lot of spray paint or working with resin or something like that. So if you guys do a lot of crafting, you can do that as well. Okay, so let's show you guys the brick. Beck, if you don't care to go overhead and make sure I'm in the middle here. Is this relatively? Ah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna open up the brick. And this is a full brick of clay. Uh, now you can buy a huge brick or these little ones. Um, here's one that we've already been working on. You can see it doesn't look like this is cut, but it's actually cut in little bitty sections just how I wanted it to be. So that's why it's kind of important to have a sharper knife when you're doing this. Now you can see it's already in four sections, but again, take one of these sections if you want to, so you can whack a section off, and let's just pretend this is the section, I don't wanna mess with this brick. And you can start pulling apart some of these and rolling them into a ball. Now, it depends on how cold your room is, depends on how warm your hands are, which my hands are always nice and toasty. So I don't have to do a lot of kneading to get my uh, polymer clay to be molded easily. Because usually you have to warm clay up a little bit to get it to really move around on you. But if it's good fresh clay or if your hands are nice and warm or if your room is nice and warm, you get the picture, you won't need to, you won't need to do that. So, just depends. Now again, this is why I don't like gloves is because as I'm rolling, I'll get um, wrinkles in them. But again, it, you see it already stained my gloves, like this would stain your hands. So we're going to make a couple different sizes here of some little clay balls. Just like that. Little bitty one. And we can see how we like it. Now here is two, by the way, that have already been, two sizes that have already been fired. Here is one size. Okay, there's a big one. And you can hear, I mean, that is, that's rock solid right there. And then here is a little one that I've already fired. So I'm decently close to both of these sizes. So now, you could, where am I supposed to, let me put these in here. So now you can take the pot you're working with and look and see, okay, that size is good. That size is, is cute too, but how many would I want? Would I want... Uh, three, if I would want three, maybe I should do bigger ones. If I would want uh, four or five, maybe I should do smaller ones, which I, I can tell right now, five is not gonna fit here. So it's just really up to you to, to play around with the sizes. I think the smaller size definitely looks better here. Let's get a couple of these. I love one, that two. tiny little pot. I, I love oh, this little cute. pot. I got this one at Lowe's as well. I think these are cute. Let's see about how many we might want. I don't know if we could fit five on here. We might have to do, honestly, three might look good on something as small as this. I don't know. Becca, I know that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye, but four would fit on here just perfect. Do whatever you want, right? Mm. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes me happy, really. So again, just, just Play with the sizes. I mean, you've got plenty of time to work with. This is an air dry clay, so you don't have to be stressed about timing or anything. And I just love the stress relief of working with clay. You know, it's warm in your hands. You can mold it to whatever you want. It's, it's even more quote unquote blank canvas than a blank canvas, because you can literally make anything out of absolutely nothing, out of just a wad of nothing. If you wanted to go the route of using it with white clay and just building something. You build your own darn pot if you want to. Mold your own pot if you can't find one like us. Make your own if you want to go that route. Um, if you use white clay, you can spray paint it any color. You can paint it any color. You can use acrylic paint on it, whatever, after you get it out of the oven. It's just so easy to use. Um, I found a lot of passion in it when I was younger. I made a lot with uh, clay, mostly also because it's cheap. You don't have to the startup cost is basically nothing with right. clay. Uh, and when you're a kid or when you're on a budget or something and you just want a nice little stress relief, you don't have to throw down, you know, a couple hundred bucks to start something up. It's just a couple little blocks of clay. Okay. Can we see the original pot we were recreating? Yes, absolutely. Let me let me get the cord and plug my Here, laptop I'll do it. Up. You do that. I'll do it. It's okay. 
Is there an adapter? Yeah. I'll grab it. Yeah, that's perfect. Let me get us over here. I knew you guys would want to see it. Lord knows I would want to see it too. Okay, where's my pot? Oh no. Hang on. Did I delete my pot picture? I can send it to you. I have it pulled up. I had it on our texts. I just sent you the link. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Okay, we're ready now. Look how cute. So cute. So this is six and a half by four and a half. So yeah. For $37. This is small. This how is much is the smaller one? Twenty eight fifty, yeah. and the measurements are five by four. So they're tiny. These are little they're really bitty pots. Cute. But look here. I mean, you can see, especially with this little small one, the, you see like some are like flatter and yeah. some. There, there's they're a perfect. lot of imperfection mm -hmm. with this. Which again, as uh, if you're doing like the whole dupe thing, there's no pressure. You don't right. have to make it perfect. This is clay. You know, make it how you want it. Uh, but some of these balls aren't the same size. Some of them are lopsided. Some of them are even, even cracked mm -hmm. that I see from here. Yeah. And they still want twenty eight dollars and fifty cents for this thing. So if you don't want to go that route, honestly, I should probably have got a big brick and tried to make my own, make my own vase too, and just see. Do the whole thing. Just, just do the whole thing and see the just the price difference. You know what I could, what I could get. So, once you have your little balls, let's roll a couple of them because I know you guys are going to ask. Now this PYD Life Sublimation Oven um, is amazing. Super easy to use. All I did was set the temperature, which was at 275, um, and the time was 15 minutes per a quarter inch. These balls were pro probably like, I'm going to say these balls are quarter inch. So I just did 15 minutes on there. Um, if you don't know exactly how thick your, your clay is, you can always just take it out and see if it's a little bendy or if it's nice and hard. Now, you don't want to over bake your polymer clay because it will crack and dry out and that's, that's not what we want. So what I usually do is get a little ball and roll it in my hands like normal. And then I take my finger and in my palm, I just kind of push it around in a little circle to not perfect the circle, but to, to let it look just a little more spherical. Cause again, we're not going for perfect and I would never be able to sit here and make perfect little balls. It would be completely and utterly impossible. So there's one and I'm just gonna take this and pinch it off. Now, if I know what size I want, which is that, here's what you can do. We've got oodles of these bricks. So that's about the size I want. So what I can do is take a brick and I'm gonna cut each of these in half. Now they're already in sections for me, which is nice and, and helpful. So I'm gonna take the, each of these sections, cut these sections into a different section. Again, it doesn't have to be just so perfect, but as long as they're relatively the same, just like this. Now, if you have like something that's a little bit bigger than all the rest or whatever, you know, cut it off or remove those. You might not use those anyways. And you can go the opposite way and say, okay, well, this is the size of my bricks. How big do I want these? You can just go through and cut them. Just try and make your cuts nice and even. If they're not even, no biggie, honestly. Once you roll it into a ball, if it's not the size you want, add a little bit more clay, take away a little bit more clay. I, I just want to stress that this is not stressful. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be stressed through this process. So let's get one that we have fired as a size reference because I know that one's too big, yeah. So this is what we're aiming for, roundabout. Let's see if we can get there. But let me know if you guys have any questions about anything. It's just mindless work. And I did this for probably the past two days. I'm gonna say like cumulatively like two hours. I was just sitting rolling clay. This would be a great thing to do while you're binge watching a TV show. Uh, again, you can do this most definitely ungloved. You don't have to do this gloved if you don't have a, a crazy color like we do. Did I hear you say that you're using your sublimation oven to bake the clay? Yes, Penny, you did hear that correctly. We're using our PYD Life sublimation oven, which by the way, works phenomenally for this. It uh, since it's built for sublimation, it has done an immaculate job at heating evenly 
And that's what we need for clay. We don't need the top to be burnt and the bottom to be, you know, uncured. Like, we don't need that. We need a good, even bake. And this oven does it. It's amazing. I linked it down below for you guys. Uh, you can set the upper temperature, lower temperature, and time. They have Celsius. That's what it's set to baseline. So you change that every time you turn it on, which is as easy as clicking a button. And, I mean, it's so easy to use, honestly. Um, I love it. So we'll go ahead and get that preheat. And it's already turned on and everything. And all I have to do to get it preheating is press that button. That's it. So she's on. She's preheating. I'll go ahead and take her tray out. And I'm going to put all my little balls on this. But... Wait, we're overhead. Sorry. I'm going to put all my little balls on this. But we also have this from J Diction. It's just a little silicone mat. And it was actually Becca's idea before I made my first batch of these. She said, well, you don't want any of these lines, like this fishnet line in there on your balls if you can't help it. So I put them on here and baked them, and it, it did great. So this is where we'll set these. Just like that. It's okay if they touch. I worried about that the first time I put these um in the oven and then realize it's not a big deal at all. So I'm just gonna keep rolling these. Micah, it is so relaxing and calming. It's very relaxing and calming. Especially when your goal is something that's imperfect like the the um, the the thing we're trying to remake. I don't know why the They're calling it a first. vase, but I don't is that what it's marketed as? It's, yeah, it's no. marketed. It's a tiny, I guess it it's can, a bud vase. I don't it's know, barely it's big enough yeah. to hold pencils. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's a vase. Um, I have a sublimation oven, so wondering if I can use it. Uh, probably, yeah. Probably. I would say so. Yeah. If you can, I mean, if you can. Adjust the temperature. Uh, exactly. If there's a tray in it or something, you know, you throw it in. Uh, then you could absolutely use it for it. Uh, we did now, not. We did not name the oven. No. No, we didn't. We didn't. We have not named it. No. We need to because mm -hmm. it's amazing. Okay, so that's all you do for those. Rinse and repeat. Uh, if you want to, you can even go as far. Look, look at my poor hand sweat. It's horrible. You can go as far as to um, count how many you need if you don't want to make too many. But I would kind of urge you to make maybe a dozen more than you think you need because after this is fired, you might pick favorites. And I know if we're mm -hmm, crafters, mm -hmm. you know what that means. You might pick favorites, and some of the ones that you have might be at the bottom of your favorites list. So it's good to have a little bit more than you need. I'm going to go ahead and put my sharp blade back in its little holster there. And we will go front facing, and I'll show you more about this oven. I can do it now. Yeah, too. that's fine. Um, so you're wearing reject pots, but I'm glad we have them just in case. So there were some other pot options. We would have had to make, had to make those clay balls pretty large. But this is a three-prong. I, I don't know why, but whenever I purchase stuff like this, I want to know stuff like that. So this is a three-prong, of course. It, it's an oven. It doesn't get really super hot um, many of the areas around here. There's a spot on the back, like the back gets nice and hot, but of course you'd have that like at least near a main surface so your kids aren't going to, you know, because I know that's a, um, that's an issue too. This thing says it's 1,600 watts, 110 volt, if that matters to anybody, but Actually, I don't know the answer to this. How, how hot does this sucker get? I knew this at one point. I think it's over 400. I'll have to I look. I can't one. remember. I knew this. I'll check for you guys as well. Um, all you did, oh, she's preheated. Did you hear that? Now, one thing about it, once it preheats, it will go ahead and automatically start that timer. So it's like when it preheats, you better pop your stuff in there. So this is the tray. Honestly, this is a big tray too. It has two different um, spots you can stick it so you can put it in the bottom or you can put it towards the top. I'm going to put mine towards the top there and just shut that little oven on. This thing's made super sturdy though. Like the handle is not like a cheap plastic. Like it's, it's nice. But you turn it on, you can set your upper and lower temperatures. To be quite honest, I don't know why you would want the top a different temperature than the bottom. Maybe you guys know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't really know why you'd want that. Um, let me see how hot this thing, I, I know it's hot, because for sublimation, it has to be hot. Oops, 
Okay. Right there she is. Again, it is linked down below if you guys would like to see it. Does it tell me? Does it tell me? Oh my gosh, 446 degrees Fahrenheit is how hot it gets. Yeah, I don't know why that, you would need that's that. That's hot. Yeah. I mean, ovens in your house only get up to 500 degrees. I mean, you could broil, you know, it's pretty darn hot. But 500 degrees is about as hot as those standard oven get, ovens get. So this is, this is a nice hot oven, which is great. I mean, it, I think it's right in the middle of not too bulky, but it's almost there. Like depending on your craft space, you know. Uh, colors beautiful though. I really, I re so far every time I've used it, I've absolutely loved it. So yeah, I have um, my Lynn Lily already on. If you guys are wondering as well, it's on. It is preheating, so we will we'll go ahead and use the beads that I've already fired. Now for this fella here, I have went ahead. And I just for future reference for you guys, if you like this style, I took an acrylic ruler. It does not have to be an acrylic ruler, really anything flat and straight. And I held this in my lap or on a surface that was straight. And I went through here and held this on there nice and straight and used a pencil so I could erase it or spray paint over it and drew a nice straight line with my acrylic ruler uh, down this for each individual little section here that way when I was gluing it was super easy to just glue glue and go um, now for the little pot here I don't think I even need to do that with how small it is it's much much easier to position something straight when you're doing uh, less surface area and a less quantity of them so we, I did five here and that's I don't know like maybe five or six inches tall so uh, it was it was handy to have that nice straight line for me. Let's see how tall it is. Four inches, I stand corrected. Um, yeah, I already had a measuring tape right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like Becca, I feel crazy like Becca, having them everywhere. You mean prepared? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I feel as prepared as Becca. That's what I thought you meant. Having them everywhere. Charlie said, I've never used that type of clay. Is the one you're using from the dollar store, or is it not of good quality at the dollar store? So, ours... What brand is ours? This is Sculpey. Sculpey. Yeah. And to be a thousand percent honest, we had a massive amount of excess from some boxes that we did years ago. And this is just extra that now, this is, I had had from home. Note that word, years ago. Years ago. And it still acts like it's fresh. Yeah. I've never used clay from the dollar store. Have you all used it? Let us know. I haven't ever used clay from the dollar store. I, I feel like that would be a safer... I feel like clay would be clay. I, I feel like that'd be a safer yeah. bet, honestly. Now, again, Dollar Tree, you can you can be like, well, well what's about the quality? But like Becca, clay is clay. If it's polymer clay, you know, air, uh, oven baked clay. Also, I'm I, willing to bet that it's cheap enough to gamble on. Yeah, I think that's a yeah. that, I think that's a, a very safe assumption as well, Becca. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be like insanely easy to, to glue these bad boys on. Now, because they're so small, I might, actually I don't know if it'll work, but I might try and use reverse tweezers because I got some big hands. I don't know if these will grip it. Uh, it's gotta be just so-so, but it will grip it. So I'll actually use some reverse tweezers. Um, okay, let's go back overhead. So here's our little pot. This is the cutest little pot ever. Here's the ones that have been um, baked, already baked, mm -hmm. already fired, as it were. And this thing's gonna stay decently straight for me, I think, but I'm just gonna hold it down there. Now let's see, let's decide between like two or three per row. I think maybe four, four. Now, no matter if you do five per row or four per, no matter what you do, the trick to getting them even is doing, going outside in, in my opinion. Now for this one, what I did was top one, bottom one, center. That's what I did. After you do top, bottom, and center, these are super easy to place. If I were to go top to bottom, it would be a little bit more difficult to make sure that there's an even, which there's still not an mm -hmm. even, but you know. Mm -hmm. Looks wise, visually, um, it's just easier to do top, bottom, center, and then the rest there. Now for this one doing four, we would just do top, bottom, and then the two middle, and it would be relatively easy to 
place. So that is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and keep it closer. Actually, I'm probably gonna use my left hand for that. So let's get us a little bead here. And the good thing about this too is if like your first two rows aren't very pretty, guess what? That can be the back, you know? So it's pretty forgiving. Plus terracotta pots in general are not exactly just super perfect. So just up to you. There's one, take another one. Now again, these are not perfect circles. They're not perfect. Uh, all the same size, it just depends. I'm gonna take a little, do you see how tiny the gl glue dot I'm using is? I'm gonna go here, just like that. Now again, for my larger one, I went through and made me a little line with a pencil, but this is so small, I really just don't think I need to do that. The only thing you're gonna need to pay attention to is if you put your lines too close together, you might have some unevenness when you wrap back around. So maybe do a little bit of math on that. I sure didn't do any math on that. He's so little right there. What was the price of the oven, even though I'm sure it's probably changed since you purchased it? So, Michael, we didn't purchase it. They sent it to they us did. to test out. They but did. the price, I don't remember. Hold on. And then there's a smaller one coming out they're supposed to be sending to us to test as well. So we can test that out for you. Uh, PYD Life Oven is $269.10. Rachel Langston. Yes. Are you measuring things? No, 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 no. You can cut this out of the video. You I am. Hurry, switch the camera to something where they can't see me. I am proud. Hurry, hurry, switch, switch it. I will not. Switch it. I'm making sure that these would be even-ish. Mm, they're not going to be. Close enough. See? <laughs> see how I do that? Okay. I just made these an inch and a half apart. Okay. So I have a dash there, a dash there, a dash there, a dash there, and there's going to be a bit more of a gap there. We'll make that the back. We'll make it the back. And then Becca's sitting there probably internally screaming saying, Remeasure. Or no, I'm actually before. messing with the website, Why don't so you measure? I have no idea. Good, she's not paying attention then. No. My teacher is not paying attention. That no. means I can act a fool. Um, or measure before, make sure they're like perfectly even. You guys know I do not care that much about evenness. Sorry about it. Okay. Shauna thinks the blue looks really good on the pot if you didn't want to paint it. One less step you got to do, Shauna. Sounds good to me. I'm happy if you're happy. Okay. Going to do my little dots. Now, you might see through this process some strings happening with your hot glue gun. Don't worry about it at all. We have a nifty little uh, heat gun to the side of me right now, which I am going to turn on before we spray paint this or not, Shauna. You don't have to. Uh, and it's going to. That scared me. Do you there need go, me to pick that up for you? There goes one of them. Nah, I've got plenty. Okay. Got plenty. Remember, Becca? You need you need a couple of a couple extras. That's true. But. Uh, if you turn like a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that on, you can actually melt all those little strings of hot glue before you spray paint it so you won't have any little spider webs or nothing. So that's super smart for you guys to do. Now, unfortunately, once you get down to where your beads are like, would be popping off this and bouncing on the bottom, you're gonna have to do this um, either standing up like this or holding it with one hand, which is super tricky. Or you could even do something like, like this. If that's easier for you, you can like set it on there and then do it upside down, which is fine. I mean, it's, it's all a straight line, so it's all gonna look the same. So this is probably what I'm gonna do just to keep it nice and easy. I'm sorry if you guys can't see as well, 
but now you get a little top down view because if I left it down here and I just kept turning it, these would just pop off as I rotated it, setting it on the table. So I'm gonna be, I think I might can do actually one more line like this and I'll have to do the rest the other way. But let me see if there's any questions. Oh, Susan, thank you so much. She said congrats on the 19,000 plus YouTube subscribers. Thank Susan, you. We, that's been like the talk of the past two weeks. We haven't even, because in, honestly in the past two weeks we've gotten some good subscribers, but in the past 10, 10 days we have bounced an insane amount. And it's not like we're like, oh, that's cool. Like we are absolutely floored with it. We are just so grateful and amazed with, with all of that. We just can't thank you all enough. Thank you so much for recognizing that. This tiny one is freaking adorable. So cute. Now, if it happens to be about 40 degrees where you are like it is where we are, you are not gonna be able to spray paint this outside. So I will show you, all oh, these little things keep scaring me. I think it's gonna pop me in the face. Steph said, I just joined yesterday. Happy flock member now. Yay! Welcome, welcome. We are glad you're a happy flock member. Welcome, we're so glad. But I will show you what I rigged up to spray paint. It's just a little like spray paint box that I cut up. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna have to switch over here, which I only have two more and I think I'm actually going to remark these to make them a little more even so that they don't look so substantially crazy. Let's hear. Do one there. Doing a little like non-math math here. Yeah, okay. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. So, Shauna, tell us about your meetup yesterday. I saw um, uh, Rachel was at my house yesterday, and uh, we were cooking and having a fun time, and then I saw missed calls from you all. I know you all had a wonderful time. Yeah. Shauna and uh, Beth and Stacy and Patrice all got together. How all flock amazing members is that? who did not know each other prior to being a flock member. It looked like they went to Olive Garden. Mm, yum. And I read somewhere that Shauna almost got her kicked out of Hobby Lobby. So give us the deets. Did you all have oh, fun? Oh, no. Yeah. Guys, if you are, if even one of you, which I already see, try and teach me how to measure. Becca's tried for four years. You, you can stop trying. Here's the thing. I'm not going to measure. Well, it just, I mean, you end up getting it well. You, you can, it. Yeah. You can tell me anything you want about measuring. Did you read the comments? Is that how you knew they were trying to teach you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just knew, I didn't know if you just assumed. Like, I'm not. I, I gotta be honest. In person, that teal on the terracotta does look kind of cool. Does it? You think? I like the colors. You know what would be, like, so cute is if they were different colors. Yeah. Like, multicolored? Yeah. Yeah. Darn you, Shauna. That's making kind me, of cute just me like think that. not to not spray it, which... And I'll show you again overhead, like the finished one. But the reason why I think it would be way cuter to have um, the stone, which I'll bring it in right here, is because they're glossy. I don't want it glossy. I want yeah. it matte. Yeah. And it's glossy. So, oh, that was her. Your oven. Hush. There's a sleeping baby. Hush. Our bathroom baby. Our bathroom baby. I'm just going to open the door. Usually I would take it out and set it on something, but... I, uh, I'm multitasking enough as it is right now. I'm just gonna open the oven door and let that chill out. Last row, where's, it, where's my, there it is. If you guys don't use um, reverse tweezers, you're missing out. You're missing out. Okay. Did you all see how easy and mindless this is? 
This is like basically no work. A kid could do this. Well, maybe not the hot glue part, but you know, depending on how much you trust your child, maybe they could do it. There goes another one. That's why you make extra people. Okay, two more. It's like the, um, what were those stupid water bead things? Those Orbeez? Orbeez, yes. It's let's like that all over about again. That. Let's not let's not open that wound. Yeah. I tucked my tail at Becca that day. I was more mad at Wayne than you. Well, it's okay. I was more mad at me than Wayne. I thought it was funny, and then I looked back and I was like, oh no, 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 that's not funny. Not funny at all. <laughs> I need okay. pictures texted of bathroom baby and chat today, Becca. I need happy. I can do that. I can send you pictures. Let me, I'll send you one right now. We're, no one won't. My phone's in the bathroom That's with the baby. The, yeah. But as uh, soon as he wakes up. As soon as he wakes yeah. up. So look how many we have left, plus the two that are in the floor. And look how cute he is. It's so cute. I really do like the color. I think I eyeballed it decently, honestly. Did There's too. a little gap, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So we're done with him, so I'm going to turn him off. Again, the, use E6000 if you have a lot of time to be able to do this. But I have a lot of little spider webs, so what I'm going to do is turn my, well, let me explain it before I turn this on and blow my mic up. <clears throat> I'm going to take this, and once it gets nice and hot here in just a second, I'm just going to hold it on the base of these little beads where that hot glue was, and it'll just melt that right off. Because if I spray painted it right now, that spray paint, like, have you ever been, like, outside spray painting something? And there's like an actual spider web or whatever. Like the spray paint clings to that. And you can see it so much clearer. So even if you don't think you have a lot of those, you do if you've used um, hot glue. So go ahead and do this. Little, it'll take like two seconds. And I promise it will make a world of difference in your finished product. You can get it nice and close too. It's not like it's going to ruin your project or remelt that high temp hot glue you don't have to worry about that okay that's done as well micah exactly she said not gonna lie but that blue with the brown terracotta really is cute i say don't spray paint it it is adorable okay let me take him out show you guys the difference so here's the big one here's the little one this They're one both could use cute. another another coat too, but I like it. Again, I don't love that these are glossy, and right now they're not. This is these are matte, of course, but when you spray it with this satin spray paint, it dries pretty glossy on that clay. Uh, but yeah, here they are. I think they're adorable. Do you want me to spray paint this one? Here's the thing: when I spray paint it, that's about it. I can't touch it after that, so it's not like I could show you. Like this is what this. No, one I will say look leave like. it. I say leave it because okay. they know how to spray paint. Okay. Because this is just, this big one is just what this one would look like, but little. There you go. It's so cute. I really do like it. It's adorable. Super cute. I'm happy with it. There's that. There's that. I wish I had a teeny tiny plant for him. I feel uh, like we do somewhere. Do I have a tiny plant? I can stick him in there. Yeah. Mm, look at him. This might fit in there. <laughs> He'd be cute. You gotta show him. <gasps> oh, oh. Yeah. Hang on, let me find let me find the front. Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da! That's cute, it really is cute. So cute. And I have more of these. Um That's it. How cute. How Maria, simple. Maria, I'm so jealous! Two of my favorite. She said, I'll be visiting Crystal next week. I'll be traveling from Wisconsin to Orlando, and she's only a few hours from there. I can't wait to get together with her. They became like BFFs oh at the Camp with the Flock. Yes. They're the sweet, honestly, yes. two of the sweetest people you will ever meet in your life. I need a Maria hug so bad I can't even see straight. Oh, my God. She gives the best hugs in the world. I think I only got one of them because we all know at this point I had to peace out when I ended up having a COVID. COVID, yeah. Yeah. I didn't give it to anyone, like, thank you, God. Yes. But I got one Maria hug, and I, oh, I remember it. It's the best. I remember it. Uh, it was a good hug. There's only a few people, you know, that I've met who were just like huggers. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I love hugs. I, I love hugs. But, you, you know, you remember some hugs. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. 
But thank you guys so much for, for watching. I had, a, I had a ton of fun. If you like working with Clay, if you like that you just get to go and spend a couple bucks at the craft store, a um, couple bucks at Lowe's, or make your own pot, maybe that'll be my next video. So I'll just make my own pot. Let me know. But if you like working with Clay, let me know. I can do more with Clay if you guys seem to be interested in it. But I, I love this. Thank you, Becca, for the inspiration for this project. You're welcome. How cute. Are we going to show um, sure. our fun new... Let me get there. Actually, come on over. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here I am. So, we, we chit-chatted about it for a quick minute, but we do have a super fun, new, free course to all members. So, sign in to your membership at Oak and Lamb. Then, whenever you hover over dashboard, a drop-down menu will pop up. You're going to click My Courses right here. So you're going to click that, and then up is going to pop the course page. Now, if you've per you have to log in. I yeah. did log in. Yeah, you were logged in. It logged you out. I'm going to move over so you can log in. That's so rude. And there I was. I'm teach you all something. That's okay. There we go. Whoop. Never mind. Go to my course. Yes. Now that you're here, any course that you purchase. Like in addition to your membership, like we had a craft with the flock course, we had illustrator with the flock. Uh, those will all be right here, the ones that you have to pay extra money for. But all of the ones that are free, look right here, click for free member only courses. See this big bold letters here. You're going to click that. And up will pop not one, but two amazing courses. Yay. Look how stinking cute. So we have our Cricut Academy that we've had for. A, Oh, wow. I mean, it's a great course. And now we have our Cricut Joy Academy. So if you click on it, we'll open up this amazing page for you and show you all what there is to see. There's a printable handbook I'll show you in just a second. Which for those of you who already have the normal handbook. It's very similar. It's, it's basically yeah. the same thing. Don't yeah. feel like you need to print this one out too. Unless you just want Unless, to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it has welcome video, unboxing setup, design space overview, which is, by the way, I will toot my horn here. I probably made seven design space mm -hmm, overview mm -hmm. videos. This is the best one. I'm going to be using this video, hopefully in other places, because it's that good. It's, it's a good video. Um, terminology, how to upload files and fonts, supply. This was like a 35-minute video of Becca's about all the supplies that you need, but in such a fun, non-overwhelming way. Like, it's just phenomenal, amazing. Uh, how to use smart vinyl, the foil tip, regular adhesive vinyl, iron-on, joy pins. Then Becca breaks down just how to make a card in general. Just a really good card, a baseline card that anybody could make. Now let's take a gander at our handbook here. Look how cute. Ugh, it's adorable. Becca outdid herself. Look at this. Look how cute. We're holding little joys. So it has all of these amazing actions and the terminology that you need to know um, for working with your Cricut Joy. It has um, the hotkey guide that is one of your all's favorite things. So these are all like things you can click on your keyboard to do quick actions in design space, which is amazing. Uh, when to use which mat, which is a lot of Cricut beginners worries. You know, there's yeah. a lot of colors and mats. What do you do with them all? You know, how do you use them? So these are all the Cricut Joy mats and what you would use them with. And then here's some little some little scan codes, little um, QR codes for our favorite stuff, our Lynn Lily, our Amazon storefront, and our caddy that we always have with us. Now, if you have any questions regarding our Joy course, Joy course regarding our regular Cricut course, uh, or anything like that, let us know. We are always adding value to our membership. We don't hold anything back from you if you're a monthly member versus a yearly member. Uh, we understand that people are on a budget. But right now through Craft Month, we do have an incredible sale on that yearly membership. So you can get $40 off your first year with us here using the code CRAFTY, C-R-A-F-T-Y at checkout. Uh, that's pretty much the best discount that we give Oh, maybe just a couple of times a year. I mean, we really do not give $40 out, but it's a national craft month. Only comes around once a year. So take advantage of that. Join today if you haven't already, if you are a Cricut Joy owner uh, and you're wondering how does it differ from using the other machines? Is it easy to use? You know, how do I, how do I learn it? How do I master this machine? What can that, I make? That doesn't have any yeah. buttons. What can I make? 
Uh, am I super limited with it? That course will answer all of your questions. You will finish that course. There's over a dozen videos. You will finish that course and feel so confident mm -hmm. in using your joy. Yep. Honestly, it's yep. an incredible course. And if you're a member and you didn't know, or you have a regular Cricut and you're thinking about getting a membership, if you have the Cricut Explore Air 2, Explore 3, Maker, Maker 3, what have you, uh, that regular Cricut Academy course will teach you everything you need to know about your machine. It's amazing. Because that's what we want to do. That's what we wanted. Yeah. We are like, what would we want if we were brand new Cricuters again and we... We needed some help. We would want a really good, concise, easy, easy to navigate, easy to learn course. So you get those forever. You can watch or rewatch them over and over. Stop and replay. I know I, I see in the comments section here that I have a tendency to speak a little bit fast. So you can rewatch what I'm saying. You can even slow it down if you want to. I can teach you how to do that if you like. Um, it's super great though. It's super, super nice. We love to add add value to our, our membership because without members, we wouldn't be here. Correct. We thank you guys so much. Anna wants this pot. Come get it, Anna. Which one do you like, Anna? Come get, come get the pot, Anna. You can have the pot. I have to take a picture of it before you take it, though. Sure. I but need then you it. can have it. Yeah. Anna, people have really liked your handiwork on my hair. Someone, someone said I look like pink. And I, I do think that might be the best comment that I've ever received. That, that is quite a compliment. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions, any more questions, any last minute questions about polymer clay, about the sublimation of, and if you have any questions about our Cricut Joy course or about our other course in general or our membership in general. Not only do we have amazing courses, but we pride ourselves on creating quality cut files. We have over a thousand of those with a free commercial use license. We also have an exclusive Facebook group, which is a lot of our members' favorite perk. It is where the hundreds of amazing members that we have get to just commune together and chat amongst themselves and talk about crafty things and ask questions and you know get help and post pictures and get inspired. It's just, it's an amazing hub for all the creative people out there. And you would notice today in our project, we did nary a cricket thing. You know, because we don't just craft in the Cricut world. We have a lot of uh, sewists and a lot of woodworkers and people who only create cards or have glow forges that um, do amazing things. I mean, there's just so many different types of crafters, and we want to help you all. Okay, let me see. Shirley, we need to see Charlie on a live. He must be growing like a weed now. You he have no idea. He is the cutest. You have no idea. He is running basically running marathons. We cannot keep up with him. He is popping out teeth. He's learning some words. He learned to say car yesterday and my heart could burst, but now everything's a car and I'm cool with that. He's like car, car, car. And I'm fine with that. He's pointing, like learning the dexterity of his fingers. He's eating like a champ. There is absolutely nothing in this world that could give you more, more pride or make you so proud and full of joy than watching your baby grow up. It's both joyous and completely heart shattering at the same time. Uh, Becca just told me yesterday, she said, does it not happen way too fast? Because I was holding Chappie yesterday and I'm like, you have no idea how fast it goes. Way too fast. But you just, you just gotta love on him. He, Anna, he is a passy thief. <laughs> he steals passies from every baby that he sees. It's hysterical. And he's he minds well, except with passies. He's like got his blood. He's like, is that is that a passy? Well, it's mine now. He stole Anna's baby's passy. He stole Becca's baby's passy. He stole everybody's passy. It's hysterical. And all I can do is apologize for him. But thank you, Shirley, so much. He is uh, the light of my life. That is for sure. But guys, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you were here today. Welcome to all of our brand new subscribers. I hope that you do stick around. Uh, we've got some really fun content coming up for the rest of this week and next week. Don't forget to be here for a live on Saturday. Those don't come around often. So be here with us live at noon Eastern time and we'll be getting a little bit crafty and talking about the Cricut Joy, which by the way, some people don't know this. If you happen to have a Maker, Maker 3, Explore Air 2, Explore 3, uh, you can do anything and everything that the Joy can do. So if we happen to have like a Joy specific live 
or we do a project that says how to do XYZ with your Cricut Joy, that does not, under any circumstances, it's exclude you if you have any other machine. Correct. You can definitely make it. You can make anything that the Joy can make. So, I appreciate that. Uh, Shauna, this is the first week in nine weeks we have not had a flock talk on Saturday. So we are actually going live on Saturday. So that will be in place of the flock talk. But don't worry, because we have our 10th flock talk coming next Saturday. And me and Becca have already planned it, which has never happened a week in advance. So we've planned it. It's going to be hilarious. Is there a YouTube video on the Unite, Subtract, and Intersect tools in Design Space? So Micah, yes. When it first came out, we did a video on it. Um, let me find it for you. I don't remember what it's called. Look at all these flock talk questions. Do you guys love flock talk? You it's so them? funny. It's hysterical. I hope you do. They don't get very many views. Not which, many at all. <laughs> which just to be honest, that's why we're here is to grow our community and to answer questions. Uh, and to, to get some views and some engagement. And we don't get a lot on flock talks. Uh, so it's nice to hear that you all do enjoy them. We, we love making them. We love making them. Uh, when is the next live? Nikki, the next live is Saturday. So you will have a pre-recorded piece of content out from us tomorrow. And then you'll see us live on Saturday at 12 Eastern. Oh, yeah, that was a good title. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. I'm, I'm finding this video for Micah. It was called, Where's the Crap? Where the Crap's My Weld Button? Because <laughs> the weld button. It disappeared. She gone. Yeah. Kinda, she gone. Yeah. Which, again, I still have no idea, no idea why we have... Um, Weld and Unite, why are they different? Just get rid of Weld. Yeah, I mean, there's no the point same, in having Weld. There's the same yeah. thing. Weld can't be undone and Unite can. Why would you ever... I can't think of a reason why you would want it to be there forever and always when you could just in case have it separate but still welded. I don't know. I just wish they would just get rid of Weld. I think it's kind of dumb to keep them both. I, now, I think it adds confusion. Can you... I don't know. I'm actually doing it right now. Can you subtract text that is not welded together or I think you could, hold on I'm looking right now that would be the only reason that you would want to weld that I might want to weld instead of you not yeah I'm looking now or if you wanted to do more than one layer at a time or something sweet and sassy I have the hardest time no you still can the text can doesn't have to be welded yeah then why is it there now, Micah, I'm just going to tell you, again, I'm going to toot my horn. I don't do that often. Your member, go to your membership, go to the Cricut Joy course, even if you don't have a Joy, and it's free to you right now. Go click on that Design Space yeah. overview. Yeah, 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 that yeah. video is better than that one Becca just, it is. just it is. sent you. Yeah. It's, it's better uh, because it shows all, everything in Design Space. Now, you can click click to where you want. It'll be during, right in the middle. That's where I talk about uh, those buttons but that's a that's a, that is an insanely good design space refresher if you need some refreshment on that it is because it's changed a lot i think even in that video when you click on a layer you know like the box around it, it still did all those different things lock and unlock and now you can only resize or um rotate well that's that was still the do. beta version like we got that yes. video out really quick yeah, yeah. so um Go watch that one if you need to refresh your mica. Megan, okay. I agree. We need to bring the Where the Crap series back. It's, yes. it's going to happen. It's we gonna just, happen. Timu kind of take over, Timu, took over our Timu life. has yeah. blinded us. We, ha we have Timu colored glasses on right now. Yeah. What? Ride the train. Yeah. I'm just going to ride yeah. the train. As I do this, like a wave, we're going to ride the wave. Whatever. Anyways, you guys have a phenomenal day. Uh, you'll see me. Tomorrow, not live, pre-recorded. And then you'll see me and Becca Saturday live. So uh, definitely check in with that. You you rock, Micah. Thank you guys so much. Um, make some of these little clay pots. Get some polymer clay. Super cheap. This is super easy to make. This little pot was like two bucks at Lowe's. You can't beat that. Becca, is there anything else I've missed? I don't think so. Good. Okay. I love you all. Thank you so much. Join the membership if you haven't already. Uh, gain access to those courses and get started learning. We will see you Saturday live at 12.